Well, Gordon, congratulations. Are you a proud man tonight? I am, um, because that was that was a, an epic duel, that. That was, uh, from early in the game, we knew what was going to happen. Um, but we, we dealt with that most of the time, and uh, we try to get on the ball and play. They're a big, strong side, great professionals, well organised. It was going to be hard. It was going to be hard. Um, I guess we had the, the kind of smaller front three as such. We kept persevering, trying to play. And eventually, from a, a Stuart McCall corner kick, um, we scored a goal. Yeah, Sean said it was from the training ground. Does it make it all the more rewarding for you as coaches that it, uh, there was a bit of pre-planning in that? Well, that was Stuart's idea, Stuart McCall. But it was, it was actually it was a variation of what we've got to try. Um, but it worked. But, you, you know, you've still got to get in that position. And you need to be a great player to finish from then. You need to set the ball outside the uh, goalpost and bring it back in. Um, so Sean can be delighted with himself. Were you pleased at the way that the team coped with the physical element in the Irish side? As you said yourself, they are a big team. Yeah, and uh, the guys up front were a handful. You know, Long and Walters. And you've got Aidan one side and McLean the other side. Um, so we had to deal with the, the balls coming forward, which is unusual for an international game. But I think we all knew it was going to be more of a British Cup tie game. So we're delighted the way we dealt with the physical side of it. And it was so close, only a set play. Um, the side of the game. Were you worried about Seamus Coleman's forward runs before the game and what did you think of Andy Robertson's handling of a top, top player? Um, well, it, it, I, 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 I think anything that comes on Andy's side, whether it be Seamus uh, or Aidan, I think um, that was a real top performance, you know. Um, so he should be really pleased with himself. What does this do then uh, for Scotland's qualification chances? It's a, it's, this is a big scalp, is it not? It's, uh, they're, they're all big, as I keep saying it before. You never know when the big game's coming. <laughs> because I've been told, as you've been telling me for the last four games now, this is a big game. You must win game. And um, t it, it, it might not it may need needed to be a must win game. A draw might not be enough. But um, we have got the victory. And, and, and again, I'll reiterate that this is the hardest group of all. You know, and again, I said the press conference, one goal decides it, or the games. Uh, it changed a wee bit tonight, but I'm telling you it's one goal. Do you think Stephen Fletcher is out of the England game? He's got his ankle strapped up? Uh, well, we're not going to risk him. We're not going to risk him for Sunderland, that's for sure. I think we can knock him in the head if he's, if he's walking out here with a, one of these protective boots on, then there's no way we're going to try and play him against England.